The Compound Effect by Darren Hardy. Continuing to read chapter four, Momentum. Bookend your days. The key to becoming world-class in your endeavors is to build your performance around world-class routines. It can be difficult, even futile, to predict or control what will show up in the middle of your workday. But you can almost always control how your day starts and ends. I have routines for both. I'll share aspects of each year to give you some ideas and to help you better understand the power and importance of building your new behaviors into disciplined routines. Starting with my goals in mind, I designed my behaviors and routines accordingly. Perhaps in sharing some of what works for me, you'll identify strategies you'd like to try. Rise and shine. My morning routine is my <clears throat> Excuse me. My morning routine is my Jack Nicklaus free shot preparation. It sets me up for the entire day. Because it happens every morning, it's locked in and I don't have to think about it. My iPhone alarm goes off at 5 a.m., confession sometimes 5.30 a.m. and I hit the snooze button. Then I know I have eight minutes. Why eight? I have no idea. Ask Steve Jobs. He programmed it. During those eight minutes, I do three things. First, I think of all the things I'm grateful for. I know I need to attune my mind to abundance. The world looks, acts, and responds to you very differently when you start your day with a feeling and orientation of gratitude for what, for that which you already have. Second, I do something that sounds a bit odd, but I'll send love to someone. The way to get love is to give it. And one thing I want more of is love. I give love by thinking of one person, anyone. It could be a friend, relative, coworker, or someone I just met in the supermarket. It doesn't matter. And then I send love by imagining all that I wish and hope for them. Some would call this a blessing or a prayer. I call it a mental love letter. Third, I think about my number one goal and decide which three things I'm going to do on this day to move closer to achieving it. For example, at the time of writing, my number one goal is to deepen the love and intimacy in my marriage. Each morning, I plan three things I can do to make sure that my wife feels loved, respected, and beautiful. When I get up, I put on a pot of coffee. And while it's brewing, I do a series of stretches for about 10 minutes. Something I picked up from Dr. Oz. If you've lifted weights your whole life, as I have, you get stiff. I realized that the only way I was going to incorporate, <clears throat> excuse me, I was going to incorporate more stretching into my life was to make it a routine. I had to figure out where in my schedule I could stick it in. And while the coffee is brewing, while the coffee is brewing is as good as time as any. Once I've stretched and poured my coffee, 
I sit in my comfy leather recliner, set my iPhone for 30 minutes, and read something positive and instructional. When the alarm sounds, I take my most important project and work on it for an hour of completely focused and undistracted effort. Notice, I haven't opened my email yet. Then, every morning at 7 a.m., I have what I call my calibration appointment. A recurring appointment set in my calendar where I take 15 minutes to calibrate my day. This is where I brush my three top one year and five year goals, my key quarterly objectives and my top goal for the week and month. Then for the most important part of the calibration appointment, I review or set my three MVPs, most valuable priorities for that day, asking myself, if I only did three things today, what are the actions that will produce the greatest results in moving me closer to my big goals? Then, and only then do I open email and send out a flurry of tasks and delegations to get the rest of my team started on their day. I then quickly close down my email and get to work on my MVPs. The rest of the day can take a million different shapes, but as long as I go through my morning routine, a majority of the key disciplines I need to be practicing are taken care of and I'm properly grounded and prepared to perform at a much higher level than if I started each day erratically or worse with a set of bad habits. Thank you for listening to The Compound Effect. I will continue to read tomorrow.